Hi everyone, René Molenaar here for GNS 3 Volt, and I want to show you how you can solve the MPLS lab, um, the frame relay over MPLS lab, um, also known as the pseudo wire. So what are we going to do here? Uh, we got five routers. Uh, router store and warehouse are the customer routers, and PE, P and PE2, uh, those are the provider routers. And the idea is, is that uh, router store and warehouse are connected to each other using frame relay over our MPLS topology. So what are we going to do? Um, first of all, configure OSPF at the provider side. And be careful with the loopbacks that we have. Because there are, uh, we're using slash 25's, but by default OSPF is going to advertise loopbacks as a slash 32. So we need to uh, think about uh, this. Um, don't send any OSPF hello packets towards the customer. And we need full reachability. So that's where we will um, we'll start here. So what I'm going to do is advertise everything and use the passive interface command change the network type for the loopbacks so we advertise the correct subnet mask Passive interface. That's it. Now that should take care of our OSPF. Uh, let's just make sure all the interfaces are up. That's looking good. And this one is looking good as well. Except for the serial interface, I need to bring those up, and the same thing over here, there we go. Um, okay, that should take care of my OSPF. Next step, configure MPLS on all physical interfaces, but not towards the customer. So make sure you use the correct interfaces here. MPLS IP. There we go. Let me do a quick check here. Okay, so I can ping between router PE1 and 2. That's looking good. So we got the MPLS part. Next step, router store and warehouse have been pre-configured with a DLCI number. 105 and 501. Now let's see if that is correct or not. Uh, okay, so I can see the DLCI number here. And I see 501 over here as well. It's looking good to me. Now the next step, this is where we configure the pseudo wire. Um, configure the PE router so you have end-to-end -end frame relay connectivity over the MPLS backbone. So we need to configure something between um, PE1 and PE2. And what we are going to do, let me think. Um, first of all, you need to configure frame relay switching here. 
Um, encapsulation type frame relay. Uh, make sure we are the DCE side. Oh, that should be good. Let me think what else we have. Um, What you need to do is use the connect command, specify the serial interface, the DLCI number, which was 105 on this side. So physical interface, DLCI, and normally if you're doing, um, if you configure a frame relay switch, you're going to specify another serial interface but in this case we are going to choose the layer 2 transport like this so that's one step and we need to make sure we use X connect uh, the peer so that's router PE2 the VC ID gonna pick number 15 encapsulation MPLS now this should be all that you have to do but of course you need to do it on both sides here so frame relay switching that's the first part enable frame relay on the interface configure it as DCE and the next step is the connect command serial should be serial number 2 501 and transport it for MPLS X connect VC ID pick the same number um, 15 encapsulation MPLS here we go now let's see if this is going to work or not So you can see we have another neighbor, that's the pseudo-wire. It still says here that the PVC is inactive. So let's check a couple of things here. Router P, I can see I got two MPLS neighbors, so that should be fine. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. If we check the frame relay part, um, LMI, status inquiries is received and sent. That's looking good. On this side there is a problem. Here you can see we don't have any traffic. So let's see what is going wrong here. Okay, so you can see here serial 2 physical up but the protocol is down. So let's see if what is going on here. Okay, that makes sense because there is a shutdown command over here. Let's do a no shut. Just to make sure, let's check this one as well. Nothing here, so that's good. Uh, 
Okay, so the interface is now up. Let's see if we have LMI traffic. And yes, we do. And if you do a show frame relay PVC, you can now see that the virtual circuit is active. So that's router store, but we should see the same thing on router warehouse. And we do. Now let's see if we can ping the other side. 16.15.1. There we go. So I can ping between router warehouse and um, router store. Let me show you another MPLS show command here. VC virtual circuit 15 detail. Here you can see that uh, packets are going through the virtual circuit. Receive 11, send 11, and if I do another ping, you can see that the number of packets has increased. And that's uh, already the last uh, task that we had. Um, so that's all there is to it. This is how you can um, configure frame relay over your MPLS network. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I also have the Ethernet over MPLS video if you like. So make sure you check out that one as well. For now, thanks for watching and till next time.